Good evening, I'm Glenn Hill, the superintendent of the Marine Military Academy, and we're here tonight to honor the cadets of the month. These are young men that were selected by their drill instructors for their academic excellence, their leadership, their conduct in the barracks, and just overall that they are great cadets and deserve to be honored. And tonight I'm also here with Lolly and Reuben. Lolly and Reuben both work in the mess hall and, and each time we have a cadet of the month or student of the month uh, dinner, they come out here and prepare the food and serve it. And L Reuben, how long have you been at the Marine Military Academy? Well, for 30, 38, 39 years. 38 to 30, and Lolly? 15 years. 15 years. And what do you do besides serve food for these cadets? I work at the mess hall, cafeteria, and then I work, I run a snack bar on the weekends for the boys. You, that's right. And you also decorate the mess hall and I, put out uh, seasonal type of things for them? Yes, And I do. it really makes it feel like home for them, doesn't yes, it? Yes, it does. Well, I wish you could be here with us tonight so that you could enjoy the food that Lolly and Reuben have prepared and more importantly, so that you can meet these fine young cadets at the Marine Military Academy. Gentlemen, come in, in. come in, come in. How are you this, this is How are you doing? Good, sir. Come in. Go in and sign in. How are you doing? When you, after you signed in, put your cover in that other room. Come in. Come in. How are you doing? Good, sir. Good. How are you doing? Good, sir. Good. Okay, this is your night, and you, I want you to enjoy it. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, I want to congratulate each and every one of you for being selected as Cadet of the Month. That That is not an easy thing to be selected for or an, an easy accomplishment. You should all be very proud of having been selected as a Cadet of the Month. I know I'm proud of you for having done that. So this, this is your night. That's the reason you're here tonight is for you to enjoy this. Uh, you know, you could be back at the mess hall if you would like, <laughs> or, or you can stay here and eat, eat dinner here, okay. Here, here's what I'd like to do, that, this is my wife Jody, and what I would like to do is start off with you, Sergeant Major, yes, and, and, sing, sing. and I'd like for you to, to tell her your name, how long you've been at MMA, where you're from, and what you want to do when you graduate, okay? Lead off. You can sit here, sit here. Uh, <laughs> my name is Trevor Roberts, ma'am. I'm from Fairbanks, Alaska. This is my third year here at MMA, and after MMA, I plan to go to the Naval Academy and enlist in the Marine Corps as an officer. Hi, ma'am. Um, I'm Lee Jae. I'm from China. I'm, this is my first year in MMA. And um, uh, after I graduation uh, from the high school, I'm going to go to the uh, Los Angeles to finish the college. Yeah, very good. What do you want to major in? Uh, maybe for the business part. Okay, very good. Uh, my name is Jared Walker. I'm from San Antonio, Texas. After I, I've been here for two years, mm -hmm. and after I graduate high school, I plan to go to Texas Tech and study and become an architect. Okay. Uh, my name is Hugh Mahon. This is my third year of MMA from Macau, China. Uh, after I graduate, I plan to go to UT Austin, study about uh, computer science. Good. Yeah. My name is uh, Michael Stiskel. This is my first year at MMA. Uh, I live in Bernie, Texas. And I plan, after I graduate, I plan to attend Bernie, or Baylor University to uh, major in economics and become a pharmacist. Uh, my name is Liu. I'm second year in MMA. And I'm from China. After I graduate from MMA, I'm going to go to Alaska, uh, Australia. Australia? To finish the uh, college. And do I? I'm sorry? To finish college. Okay. Uh, oh, where in China are you from? Uh, China. What city? Uh, Chengdu. Okay. Very good. Hello, I'm uh, John Leveringhouse. I'm from Saratel, Minnesota. Uh, after I graduate from high school, uh, I want to attend college. I'm not sure what I want to study. Okay. You know which college you want to go to? Probably the University of Minnesota. Okay, very good. All right, well, again, welcome you, you're all, you all here. Uh, what I would like to do is I'd like for you to stand up. I'm going to say grace, and once we've done that, you lead off.
Okay. All right. Trevor, is it? How long have you been in Denver? I've been here for three years, sir. Three years. And how did you get here? Well, sir, my brother had attended the school before me, and I came here going to one of his parades as a little kid, uh -huh. and that kind of motivated me to be more kind of following his footsteps. And so, I, since I was a little kid, I've just been wanting to attend my military academy, sir. How long ago did your brother go to this year? His last year was 2011, and okay. that was when he was at LE3, sir. So he's been here, been there since 2009. Leo, how about you? Me, sir? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, uh, I come here because my friend, he come here for one, one year, sir. Mm -hmm. He just said, this school is very good for a boy. I uh, make me independent, make me better, sir. And what about you? Uh, I was getting in trouble in school. I was having a lot of trouble with like lying and no. not doing assignments and just kind of being lazy. So my parents just started uh, researching schools that would better help me in that part of my life. And, they came upon this school and decided to send me here. Has it helped you? Yes, sir. It is? Yes, sir. What about you? Um, I found this school online and my dad thought it would be a good fit for me. I'm sorry? I found this school online and my uh, dad thought it would be a good fit for me. You found it online? Were, were you looking for a school? Like, yes, sir. What, what, made, what made you select this one over others? Um, I thought it was going to be the most challenging. Okay. Has it been? Yes. What's been the most uh, challenging? Um, the curriculum and um, just being away from home. But it's, it's a good, it's a good experience to have. What about you? What's your name? Uh, Craig Pockerbees, sir. What? Craig Pockerbees. Okay. That's interesting. Seven, thirty something. Mm -hmm. But teacher usually asks us, to like be in classroom like hour early. So I like the, maybe today's math teacher, tomorrow's Chinese teacher, another day is like English teacher. Mm -hmm. They can have like extra time. Because in China I have like a big population. So the people like, and the college is like same member like in the USA. So the people can get into the, like the position in the college is less. Right. So it requires like more competition to get right. into a good college. Okay. What about you? Uh, uniform. The yes. uniform. Dress blue. You like to dress blues? Yes. A lot of girls come around with you. <laughs> yeah, what about you? What do you like? I like the fact that they have a schedule that just tells you how to run your day. Uh -huh. That way you have set times for different things. It keeps them organized. Ah, okay. Is that something you kind of had trouble with before? Yes, sir. Okay. What about you? Um, mine would probably have to be that like everybody's kind of the same. Like we're all here, and that we all have to wear like the same uniform. Kind of. mm -hmm. like, um. Go ahead. What kind of question would you like? Uh, vanilla, please. All vanilla? Yes, ma'am. Sure. Okay. You want a banana? Well, uh, yes, please. I was born there and I lived there for about until I was three. And then I moved to Montana. And then I stayed with her until I was about 10, 10 or 12 so. And then we kept moving around to Kentucky. You get whatever toppings you want on your ice cream, here in Texas, and then back up to Montana. Get some cookies, okay? And what would you like? Kentucky. It's real. It's real. It's real. This one? This one? Three? Two? So Two? Much. Yeah, I 